it's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Raiders and the Bills, and it comes your way next. From the home of the Bills since way back in 1973, there's a look at Highmark Stadium just outside of Buffalo, New York. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. Their guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, they've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. And then for the Raiders, this is a tough team to figure out. They stumbled home to a 6-11 finish last year. But you say if they want to turn things around, it has to start on the defensive end. It certainly does. And while they've had some dynamic pass rushers along the way, they've needed more. and They've added them now in free agency and the draft, as well as some new faces on the back end to help shut down people throwing the football. And we are underway in Buffalo. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023. The former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. It's another typical season for Jimmy G last year. When he was out there, he was excellent. Leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interceptions. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas, they're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. Garoppolo, first play, going to throw it. A dump off here to Bolden. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But well, when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They've got to double cover him every chance they get. And I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Here's Hardy set to return. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year, and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. Now the new pickup from New England. This is Damian Harris. 
They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. This a quick pass to Davis. A swift move and then tackled just on the other side of midfield. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Now Allen throwing on second down. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. He's still on his feet. And on the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 49 yards. And the Bills are on the board first here this afternoon. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. DeAndre Carter returning it. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he gets it up past the 35. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate, and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Garoppolo. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw is Garoppolo. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Garoppolo looks to throw. Looking deep for Adams. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. wide receiver helps also yeah even coming in third in the discussion sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield on play action Allen and the Raiders have got him multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game and this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him you've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside that's where he can really hurt you. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw, Allen. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. DeAndre Carter back deep. Taking it about the 36. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Las Vegas' offense back out there ready to go. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. A quick throw taken in by Diggs. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, 
you're just throwing the football, all right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. And Davis will have a Bills first down as the tackle made right at the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the 33, here's second down and seven. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself... As we just saw there, that's a big day. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To the air, Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 40. That one goes for 24 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Allen now on first down. He gets it complete to Harris. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Well, Bill's passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. The CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when... Touchdown, Bills! Dawson knocks a touchdown grab from Josh Allen, and the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away 
Here's Carter now on the return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Two minutes to play. First half, it's 14 to nothing. So from the 26-yard line, here's the second and eight. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Short throw, and that's held in by Mayer. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. First down now, but that clock rolling. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. He gets this to Devontae Adams. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting left backwards on this drive come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down from midfield here's Garoppolo that's going to be caught it's Jacoby Myers he's got room to roam and he's going to be taken out of bounds but not before he gets this all the way down to the 10. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Ah, uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit, and they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. And yet again, it's Garoppolo to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Second and ten. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Garoppolo looks to throw once more toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. The kick by Carlson is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move.
After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Thirty-five seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. Allen shoves him aside. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. A final shot before half for Allen. It's hauled in by Hardy. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park where the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Here's Allen on first and ten. Now a bottle, now a fumble. It's out, it's loose. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within a shadow of the goalposts. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They hand this off to Harris to about the 35, second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. From the 35, here's second down at seven. They'll keep it on the ground, Harris again. Nifty move. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. 
to throw. It's Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And the Raiders are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone, possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at the 34. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. On the out route, this is Adams with a catch. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This is a perfect example of what separates the elite quarterbacks. Has his man open, way too anxious, ends up firing it in there with way too much zip on it. The great ones, they know how to relax and put the appropriate velocity on the football. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and ten. Throwing now is Garoppolo. A dump off here to Bolden. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And he'll have this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. Throwing now is Allen. Setting up the screen, Harris. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's all about recognition right there because he's got to go from pass rush mode to pursuit mode, what defensive line coaches like to call retracing. And he's able to retreat and make the tackle for just a short gain. Allen to throw once more. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hardy. And he is going to have a Bills first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. From the 46, here's second and a couple. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 45-yard line. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. You know, definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 27. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he is going to have the Bills first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive has eaten up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. On first down, Allen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Here's Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He will find Davis on the left side complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one good for 24 yards. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence 
and not playing with fear. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Allen now looks to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. So no gain on the play, and that'll make it second and goal. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Harris sidestepping his way into the end zone. It's a touchdown. Well, uh, wherever he is on the field, he is certainly slippery with a football in his hands, and he proved it right there. And normally moves like that aren't supposed to work this deep in the red zone because there's not enough space. Normally way more effective when you're working out in the open field. But here, incredible shiftiness, excellent contact balance, and he works his way into the end zone. Bass on for the extra point. And it's 21 to 3. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Garoppolo now. And his throw is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Play action, Garoppolo. He's going to let it fly. He's got it at the 15. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. It's a big play there for Vegas. 56 yards. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now an injury timeout, and that is Devontae Adams, who is in some discomfort following that play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. From the five now, second and a yard. Get 
Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it'll be a turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. 62 yards on the ground for him so far. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Now the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did. 